In this lesson, we're going to finish up our signs on introductions and common greetings you'll see when you meet people. Uh, we already talked about how are you. Another question that people often use when they see you for the first time in the day is, what's up? What's up? So again, it's that feeling handshake. Take a five hand and then put your middle fingers forward like this. Then touch the middle finger to your chest and then it arcs up and out. What's up? Now, sometimes like high school deaf kids are too, too especially boys, are too cool to actually sign this. So they just kind of go. But everybody else signs, what's up? And when somebody says, what's up? What do you always answer? Nothing. <laughs> so nothing, it's a zero or an O, palm out, two of them. And there's so much nothing going on that they kind of rattle around in the emptiness of space. Nothing. Or, what's up? I'm stressed. Now this looks a little like the sign help, right? But the hands are opposite. So this time it's your weak hand that's the fist and the dominant hand that's on top and it's pressing down. Instead of lifting up, it's pressing you down. So help and stressed are almost opposites. Stressed because it's like there's this pressure on you that's pushing you down, stressed. Or what's up? Oh, the same old, same old, right? Same thing as usual. So this is the sign for it, the same. It's a Y hand that moves back and forth. That can be directional. Like if somebody says, I'm tired, you can say, oh, me too, because one hand is pointing at you and the other is pointing at them. Oh, me too, I'm tired. So that's the sign for it, the same. Now, if it's talking about the same thing again and again, we're gonna take the sign, the hand shape from the same and the movement from again and put do it twice in circles. The usual, the same thing over and over again. Same old, same old. But hopefully your life is better than that. I'm just, those are common answers, even if they're not great answers. So when you've met somebody, it's polite to say that it was nice to meet you. So the sign nice, your both hands are flat, your weak hand stays here, and your dominant hand slides across it. That's also the sign for clean, clean or nice or neat. So it's nice to meet you. Here's me, and here's you, and we are meeting each other. Nice to meet you. Four words in English, two signs. So there's a lot of economy going on there. Now, meet is a directional sign. This is me meeting you, right? But if you wanted to say my parents met in high school, Here's mom, here's dad, they met. I'm not involved in that, right? Because I wasn't there when my parents met. Do the math, right? So, so my parents met, right? As opposed to you and me meeting, okay? Nice to meet you. You can put the you on the end, but if you set that up right, you don't have to. Another common question when you see somebody signing or if somebody sees you signing, they might ask if you are deaf. If you're deaf or hearing, so the sign is deaf. It's a one hand, sometimes it's palm in, sometimes it's palm out. It's usually palm in. They touch your mouth and then touch your ear. Some people do it down, both are correct. Deaf or deaf. Um, so the, the original sign was that your ears and your mouth are closed. And every once in a while, you'll see an older per deaf person sign deaf. But m rarely do you see that anymore and that's not how you should do the sign. It should be deaf or deaf. Now, hearing, you would think hearing has something to do with your ears, but deaf people can't see hearing people hear, but they can see them talking. So instead of speech, we're gonna use the sign hearing. Hearing, because words are falling out of your mouth. It's a one hand that points to the side, your palm is in, and it makes little circles outward. That's the sign for a hearing person. If you're talking about like listening to music or something, that's different. This is a hearing person. So if somebody says, are you deaf? Say, no, 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 I'm hearing. And then when it's time to part ways, you need to tell them goodbye. You're just going to wave. Goodbye. Now that you've waved goodbye and it's time to take your leave, you might tell them, I will see you later. So we can sign, see you later. Or we can kind of abbreviate that, make a contraction and put all of those together at the same time. Use the location from C, the hand shape and the movement from later and say, see you later. Now, I know the picture doesn't help. Inevitably, somebody says, what's the sign for alligator? Now, maybe in English that's funny because it rhymes, 
but in sign language it doesn't right it's like saying see you later amphibian like it's it's not funny it's not funny so just see you later and just leave it at that leave the alligator back in the swamp okay hopefully now with all of this new vocabulary you've made a new friend friend x hands palm up and palm down they cross and then they cross the other direction so the sign is friend now that you have all this new vocabulary i hope that you have the chance to meet people and make new friends happy signing